welcome back to my channel today i will answer a question that i get asked a lot and that is how i connect my camera to my tablet for instant previews of what you're shooting first of all let me tell you i do not connect my camera straight to my ipad so what I do, I actually use uh, my computer as my main tethering station. I connect my camera to the computer and then with the help of a software and a special server that it creates, I'm able to transfer the pictures to my iPad. Uh, this is a very old iPad, it's about 10 years old almost, so it doesn't need to be a new one, anything like that. The application works perfectly on it. So when you have a tablet and your camera and your computer, all you need then is a cable. This is a tethering cable from Tether Tools. I'll link the um, website of, for the company in the description. You need to buy a cable that is suitable for your camera. For example, my camera needs uh, this kind of cable. Maybe yours will need something else. So always make sure you first look at your camera uh, what kind of cable you will need so what kind of um, connection is there so you know what kind of cable you need to buy and then all we need is a software I use a capture one for tethering and also for previewing pictures on my iPad uh, this will work with any other screen if you for example want to have a second big monitor or you want to show the pictures on your laptop or multiple iPads it will all work with Capture One so let me pop in a screen recording of my iPad and my computer uh, so you can actually see how it all works and how easy it actually is first of all let's go to Capture One as that's the software I'm using for tethering and previewing on my tablet. And here we are in my existing session. To preview the images on a tablet, you need to download the app that comes with uh, Capture One. In here, in the camera tab, if we scroll all the way down, here is a tab called Capture Pilot. This is the where we create the server. So now we'll just uh, look at our iPad or tablet, download the app and connect the server. So here is the app. This is how it looks like. It's called Capture Pilot. You need to download it from your Apple Store, Google Store or whatever other store you are using. Uh, let's tap on it and it opens a list of servers. Currently, no Capture Pilot servers are found because we haven't created one. So let's go back to the computer and here in the Capture Pilot tab, uh, we can choose a server name. I chose YouTube Test. You can choose what folder you are going to preview here. You can protect it with password if you wish to and just hit start server. Now let's see what pops up on my tablet. YouTube test server list has been found. So let's click on it. And this is all the pictures that are currently in my session here on a capture one you can choose which one you show by pressing the rating if you have any preferred system i use star so i have one star images two star images here so if i click this uh, little ball next to the two star images tablet will only show to start pictures on a screen so you can really choose what you are previewing there now let's see how it actually is going to work. If I find the same picture on my tablet that is currently on my screen, it's this very first one, you can tap on the picture, it will make it bigger. And now let's see if we can make some changes and see how the server works. So I go to my exposure tab here and let's say I'll bring down the exposure instantly bringing down the exposure back uh, on my iPad as well. So if I change the color temperature, for example, instant changes on my tablet as well. So that is very handy to, to have this kind of option. So let me change this back and back how it was. Now to connect our camera, we need to go back to the camera tab, plug the camera onto the cable and then cable to the computer turn it on I see all the info is popping in here and now I can take a picture if I just unclick these two star views to just again show us 
all at once and I can now take a picture and it will instantly show on my tablet as well as on my screen. There you go. You can take one more. There you go. Now again, if I want to change something, it will change on both devices. If you prefer bigger screen, bigger than a tablet, you don't need to use a capture pilot uh, for this example. You can plug another monitor or big screen to your computer. That way you can have much larger screen than just an iPad. And you can do that by going up in a capture one up to window workspace and choosing dual monitor large browser or large viewer. What that does is to open a new window that you can then grab and drop on some other screen or other monitor that you have. You can still be connected to your tablet via Capture Pilot and you can have a two or three monitors or multiple tablets so you can create as many viewing stations as you like. That's it guys, hope you find it helpful and now you learned something new. Don't forget to like the video, comment on it if, if you like it, subscribe to my channel, I hit the little notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads. And I'll see you next time. Bye!